Aquarius, what is going on, my dears? Why you got them boys so delirious? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera. I am back at it. I am in the building for a year end's bonus. Yes, indeed, we're here to find out what the tail end energy of 2020 showed me the money energy with the last little sprinkle, little bloop, you know, last little sprinkle message that we got to top everything off before we step into the new year of 2020. 2021 okay 2020 21 child oh jesus all right so listen i want to give a big shout out to every last one of you all my ogs all my newbies every last one of you guys who have stepped in this building and has clicked this video i want to also just say a big thanks to everyone that's been bookings personal private readings to all of the early christmas gifts that i've been receiving we just got a brand new deck you guys this is called the cosmic uh what is it called the cosmic tarot or something let me actually go get the deck y'all i don't even know why i'm not prepared hold on baby <laughs> this is called the cosmic slumber tarot deck that was just sent through the Amazon wish list. Look how beautiful this deck is, you guys. And to believe it on, look how it opens. It's just so beautiful, y'all. This deck has two bonus cards. I've never had a deck that has bonus cards to the tarot. So, like, this is, like, completely amazing. I love this deck. I'm falling in love with it every day. As y'all know, my Edgar Allan Poe deck got lost in the sauce so hopefully it'll still find its way to my home but just in case it doesn't you know we ended up with this deck which i am not upset about so again thank you guys so much for just your generosity and your love that you guys have been you know given to me and my page throughout this whole year i greatly appreciate it and i appreciate you so again if there's anyone that wants to support Want to send some more Christmas gifts? I, you know, I love Christmas gifts. Um, or if anyone wants to book a personal or private reading, check the description box of this video. And also, you can um, click the About tab on my Insta. I mean, on my YouTube page. You can send me a message on Instagram about the booking. If you don't have an Instagram, email me at scorpionrise at gmail.com. All right? So, you guys, let's get into the energy for today. We're going to give a quick prayer. Lord, why can't I talk? We're going to give a quick prayer prayer and just give the creator give god uh thanks for just bringing us here collectively and just you know helping us make it through this year as y'all know this year has been a little tough for a few people and it's been very blessed for a lot of people so you know we just want to you know give the creator thanks so father god we thank you so much for delivering us and bringing us here for the sign of Aquarius. Uh, we thank you so much. No matter what's just been going on, Father God, we've been, you know, keeping ourselves forthright, strong, using our intelligence, our strength, our wit to just like make it through any obstacle that's, you know, was set forth in our path, Father God. Like, we're problem solvers. We make things happen. We make things pop, Father God. And like, if we didn't understand it or see that that was our skill, you know, to maneuver, to quick feeting, uh, quick thinking, being light on our feet, 2020 has definitely showed us that. So, Father God, continue to just bless us with more guidance, more creativity. Um, help us to sharpen our communication skills so that we can get whatever it is that we're trying to achieve in 2021. Because, you know, the fun has just begun, Father God. So thank you again. Please give us guidance for the sign of Aquarius for the rest of the year going into 2021. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So, Aquarius, we're going to be using the T today so at the tea as well as the tarot dice which was another gift that was sent through the amazon wish list last year so and you know y'all see i got my runes over here too and i will be slowly bringing these bad boys out and y'all sent me every last one of these things as a gift so trust and believe in 2021 y'all will be seeing a lot more forms of divination being used i look and y'all know I got a crystal ball here too. Okay. So we got a lot of different little things going on over here, honey. We gonna be stepping into a whole bunch of little different stuff. Now I don't know about no crystal ball, cause honey, I don't want my eyes getting all twisted and tired and stuff looking up and through there, honey. Chat. I don't know what that I'm doing with that. It just look good, okay? I'm just I'm quite skilled. Anyway. <laughs> so listen, give me guidance for Aquarius, please. 
You got the needle and thread. Give me one more. Okay, pineapples. Pineapples. Let's see. The needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. Okay, Aquarius. Pineapples. Reconciliation. Ooh. Wee. Okay. I am reloaded. Caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Ooh. Mmm. Change is coming. Don't worry about a thing, huh, Aquarius? So you guys have been trying to stitch something back together, it looks like. Uh, clearly, a situation has been a little pineapples. You know, that's your safe word. Pineapples, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that anymore. Like, you're going too deep. You're going too far. So, uh, for a lot of you guys, this might be like your pineapple still. Uh, you know, if someone bring up that conversation, that topic, that person, pineapples. I ain't ready to talk about that. I ain't ready to speak about that. I ain't really ready to express my feelings about that. I don't want y'all really knowing what the heck I'm trying to, you know, pull together. Mmm. I feel that you guys are keeping it a little close to your chest, keeping it a little secretive. You guys have been trying to stitch something together. You guys have been trying to work something out and reconcile with somebody with a little something that uh, your heart is still sweet on. Because pineapples are very, very sweet. They're very quick. Oh, my goodness. If you ever. Ooh. Mmm. Especially some fresh pineapple. So, you guys, I feel like you want something fresh. You want something renewed. You want something to grow. And this time when you're sewing it together, whatever type of stitching, string, or whatever it is that you're using. I mean, when I'm trying to tell you that it's Teflon tough, like, you're not going to be able to break that this time. You know what I'm saying? It might tear somewhere else, but it damn sure ain't going to rip right here. So, like, this time when you put it back together, you putting it together to last forever. And that caterpillar right there... Things might be a little tricky, a little sticky right now, but it's not always going to be like that. It is not always going to be like that. This caterpillar says things will not always be this way. Change is coming. Looks like you guys are about to try to, you know, morph <laughs> into something else. Y'all want this to grow into something different, going into a new stage. Okay, one more, please. Thank you. But I, I, oh, I tried. I said one more. One more. One more. Okay, so we got the shark. Take care or there will be material loss. Mm. A hat. You will be playing a different role. Interesting. Give me one more for Aquarius, please. Mm. You got a wall. Misunderstandings. So, this has to do with a job situation here. Most definitely. It looks like your position may be changing. And because of that, there may be some misunderstandings. Some people may have a wall up with you. I want to tell you to keep your head. Like, keep your head. It like, listen, you advancing yourself in life, if that makes other people uncomfortable, that's their business. That is not yours. It is surely is not yours. Do not take on any energy that is not yours. Like, I understand, like, your nature sometimes is to protect yourself and to be aggressive, but you got to figure out what the hell you fighting for. And when you're an apex predator, just you floating around really puts fear in people. You don't really got to say too much. Say less. Okay? You're in a different role. You don't have no time to be running your mouth with people and stuff like that. Just your presence alone flowing by is intimidating enough. So, like, don't even trip. Do not trip. Because I feel like if you lose your, if you lose your hat, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you lose your cool in the situation, you're going to regret it. And it will um, affect you financially. Who cares about who got a wall up, you know, against you? Who cares? You know? Some people don't like that certain things have changed and the way that you operate and your techniques are a little bit different than others. Who cares? Who cares? Like, I'm just sorry. Who cares? If you allow yourself to forget your position that you placed yourself in with this role... Because of little misunderstandings. If you don't learn how to put a wall up and you go on the attack, it will fuck you up financially. So don't say I didn't warn you. 
Remember your role. Remember your position. That didn't come easy. Don't let it slip away easier than you got it. You feel me? So let's go to the tarot dice. And if you guys are um, have headphones on or something, you may want to turn this down because I am going to be shaking the dice or whatever. All right, so clarify the needle and the thread, the pineapples, caterpillar. Okay, so this is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. What is this here? So it, what is this? The set? This is the Nine of Swords. This is the Chariot. Hmm. So, what this is basically telling me is like, there's some type of opposition in your life. It's something that is getting in the way of um, you being able to move forward. It's something that, you know, you aggressively want to start making movement towards but deep in your mind you're still going over thoughts over past conversations over maybe why y'all may have broke up or things are not the same anymore like you're keep going over it towards the point that it's making you a slightly fearful of this thing growing the way that you want to it's like What's the point of me moving towards something and risking making myself look like a fool just for someone to reject my offer? Do you understand what I'm saying? This is someone that is fearful of rejection right there with that ace of coins. The ace of coins is like offer of commitment, uh, offer of, you know, willing to learn something, uh, to regenerate something, coming to some level of understanding, um, you know, I want to say a willingness to communicate to. It's like an openness almost. Allowing um, you to bring your element together. I bring my element together so we can plant something and watch it grow um, as a unit. But I don't think that whoever this is, because... The needle and thread trying to bring something together. Seer what should be granted. Reconciliation. Things will not always be this way. Change is coming. Um, you have to be more positive in your mindset and in your thinking. Because with that um, nine of swords right there. It's like some level of stress and anxiety. That things are not going to go the way that you want it to. Because of where it currently stands at right now. With that chariot, if you want to go forward, you have to go forward with confidence. It's only going to grow if you tell yourself that it's going to grow. If you come forward with the energy that you're coming with the intentions to make it grow. If you're coming with the intentions of possible fear of failure, uh, feeling that someone may reject you or may not understand where you're coming from, then... Things are going to lean more towards that side. So with that chair, you have to be confident. You kind of have to put to rest all of those old thoughts and the old hurts, the pains and things that people said that they regret and all of that. Like, you know, you can't let, allow that to keep you up at night. You can't allow that to allow you to walk around and operate with fear and anxiety. It may not show on the outside, but it damn sure is on the inside. And again, that Ace of Pentacles being in the reverse is, to me, that's a feeling of rejection. So, be careful with that. If you want positive results, you got to move forward with positive energy. And I do feel like, because that's why that pineapples is right there. It's like, mm, pineapples. This person may tell me no, you know. So, um, again, move forward with confidence. And definitely with that chariot. You're moving forward anyway. You're going to see what it's going to do, like, regardless. So, um, that's at least what I'm getting from it. And with that needle and thread, it's telling you that it's going to have a successful outcome. And things are not always, like, it may not initially start off the way you want. It may initially start off with some form of rejection. You know? It may take some time to grow. That doesn't mean that it's completely cut off or it's completely not going to happen. 
I feel like you may get an initial rejection and you may have to sit and think about a different strategy. May stay up all night thinking about that shit and come back towards the situation a little differently. Change is coming. Things is not always going to be this way. Let's see what's going on over here with the shark the hat and the wall. Clarify the shark the hat and the wall, please. Mm, you got the ace of wands in the reverse. Okay. What is this? The six of cups. And then this is the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune isn't. It's like. It ain't even on the flip side. It's like. You know. It's like hanging on the side. It's like in the middle part. It's like you really don't even know how this going to turn out for real. There's too many. There's too many. Pro there's too much. Okay. So with the shark here. Take care or there will be material loss. Wait it says take care or there will be loss of material wealth. With this ace of wands right here in the reverse. This is basically telling me like, again, wands can represent angers. It can represent your passion, your desire, your wants, like your goals, your aspirations. Um, it's like be, be careful of almost because to me wands mean like magic wands. It's like almost be careful for what you're wishing for almost because they're saying something may beat you in the end it's like and I, and I don't want to say that because I want to because it this could very much be your anger because with this shark here I'm getting like anger because wands can mean because it depends on how many wands is on the table it can mean a fight an argument a challenge or you know what I'm saying? So it's like knowing when to put down arms a little bit. Knowing what challenges is yours and knowing which ones is not yours. Like don't let someone who's inferior to you. And I hate to talk this way, but this is like how y'all are talking to me. It's like don't let someone inferior than you upset you to the point that you forget what your initial challenge is, what your goal is, and it's like you step off the throne. It's something right here about like you have a long term history with this challenge, with this Six of Cups. This could be something that you've been battling with since you were a kid. And it's always kind of had you in this kind of upside down, like, you know. Not necessarily knowing how things are going to turn out based on your temper and your attitude sometimes. Because I don't know why I just feel like just shit with you can pop off easy. It has something to do with some childhood trauma or like in Six of Cups it's like someone I feel like that, is, that wasn't loved or wasn't and I'm not trying to like go that far with it but yeah I am it's like I don't know if people picked on you as a kid or or and it's like that's why your temper is like you're a fighter like I, I'm serious like whoever this Aquarius is is a fighter and it's like you're being put in a different position to change things especially in your finances and career do not allow your old school behavior who you used to be you know what I'm saying? It's time to grow up and like develop past your old pastime. You know? It's it's like you just can't go around beating people up because someone say something to you wrong that you don't like. You have to learn how to separate yourself with people that don't understand you or are hating or got a problem because I'm kind of getting like almost like a bully energy. It's like um, I don't like you anymore, so I'm just, 
going going slide around and come around you just stare at you and just be like bitch do something do something I don't know I'm kind of getting that it's like you can't be like that anymore you can't intimidate people even if you know that they're wrong you know what I'm saying it's like you got to learn how to walk away um you got to learn how to walk away and not get petty. It's like some type of petty energy or something. And it's like with this Wheel of Fortune, like being on the side, like this is like the wheel don't know if it should go upright or go down. It's dependent on your energy and the way you let your passions manipulate your emotions because... I feel like someone easily steps off the throne and it's like, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it in some way. It's not worth it because it's going to delay your new beginnings and like everything you've been working for that you've been praying for that you've been trying to wish and manifest. It'll all go away. You know what I'm saying? Because someone doesn't want to grow up and someone doesn't want to really position themselves in this role of just being like, I want to say like, Because with this Six of Cups, I'm even getting like a level of selfishness. I don't know if this is the Aquarius or I don't know if this is like someone doing this to the Aquarius because it's like you want to receive love, but you don't want to give it back. It's like, um, I'm getting a lot here. I'm getting so much right here. I'm getting so much right here because it's like, okay. I want to use you to help me get to the top, but when I get there, I'm not going to help you up type of thing. It's like some extreme level of just narcissistic, selfish, ego type of bullshit. It's like, I want you to love me, but I don't have to love you. I just want to receive. It's like... Someone has to change that. Or it's like, you have to change, like, dealing with people that are reflections of your childhood trauma. It's like, it's either someone puts their self around or in situations where they're never on the receiving end. Or they're always on the receiving end. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, give, 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 give. Or take, 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 take. And it's not a balance. You know what I'm saying? It's not a balance. And I do feel like anger. I feel um, like power struggles here. And never knowing which way the table is going to turn. It depends on... How you are deciding to deal with the situation based on your maturity. Are you going to do what you always used to do? Are you going to put this wall up when there's misunderstandings and keep your hat on and maintain your position? You know? So, let's get some clarification. I forget. Who the hell do I always? Who always do that? It's like clarification. Clarification. I want to say, I feel like that's um, A Connection TV or so. Shout out to my baby Wes over there at A Connection TV. When he used to do Mona Simone, that's where I get that from, y'all. Because I'm like, where did I get that from? Okay. We got the Six of Swords in the reverse. So the Six of Swords in the reverse is like someone trying to move away. It's like something that they know is not a positive experience isn't good for them and they need to move away from it and someone's trying to give someone assistance to allow them to get to the other side of the table where it's a little bit more comfortable where you're a little bit more freer you're accepted people understand you there's positive communication positive energy but it's like someone is like resisting going it's like they keep wanting to turn back it's like, I want to say someone resisting change or resisting movement. It's like someone having to, that's just like you as your, as a child, like if your family decides that they want to move from 
Wisconsin and California and you got all your friends in Wisconsin and shit and you like I don't want to move to California I don't want to go you know and you got people trying to help you see the brighter side of things and just to get your mind wrapped up on change and and it's like you refusing to see things on the other side almost it's like you're not going to change my mind I want to stay here almost so Hmm. Clarify the sharp that had the wall, the ace of wands in the reverse, the six of wands in the reverse, and the wheel of fortune. Got the three of cups. So, again, this is some type of uh, group setting here. So, again, this has to do with everyone working together for a greater cause. So, you have to realize your position right here and understand what the mission is. So, the goddess of people may not like the fact that you're in the position that you're in. You can't allow that shit to get in the way of the greater goal. Like, you got to work together. Um, you don't have to be friends, but you got to be colleagues. You know, it's like... If you guys all work together, learn how to, when there's disagreements or misunderstandings, just put your wall up. Don't let these people get you fucking upset, Mo. Do you understand? Do not let these people get you to fuck out your goddamn bag. Do you understand? You're going to regret it so bad. I swear you're going to regret it. I don't want you to get fired. I don't want you to be in a position where... You can't give to nobody and nobody can give to you. You don't want this wheel of fortune to turn on the flip side. I promise you. If you're in a position, if you're in a great position of hierarchy, keep yourself there. Do not step off your front. Do not step off your throne. Do not take your hat off for nothing or nobody. You have to learn how to put misunderstandings aside. Be mature. Grow up. Not acting like a child. Not acting like you used to do. Because it will delay your blessings. And like this new position that you've been given. As soon as you got it. It will leave so fucking quickly. Because you are not showing maturity. For that role. You know. So again. This is like blessings being poured down. In disguise. Of a lot of things. Like I. I, I <laughs> It's like blessings being poured down in disguise that is really going to help you all. So, realize what's going on. Try to be. They're trying to say, try to, um, they say, excuse me, they say something about a charity or something. It's like a charity, a fundraiser. They say, remember the charity of the situation or something. It's, it's like. Hmm. It's like y'all all gonna receive blessings at the same time. It's just like just chill and learn how to get along and everybody receive your blessings all at the same time. And it's like y'all it's like y'all won't be fighting no more. It's like everybody is all in the same boat. Like stop it's like somebody here needs to stop worrying about a position and who's in what position and who's first who's second who's last who's third it's something like that and just chill and allow everyone to receive it's like don't pay attention to the positioning just pay attention to like the blessing the gift here I want some more guidance on this. We're going to find out. This. No, no matter, no matter. Anyway, so this Six of Swords, the Six of Swords here, there's somebody that um, I want to say is not willing to be moved as of yet. Definitely are trying to bring something back together before they decide to go. All right, so give me some guidance. You got the wishbone, a wish granted. One more, two more. 
firecracker excitement so this is tower so this is like a exciting revelation or something something you didn't see coming oh goodness you got the scissors and then you got the woman so I want to say disappointment and, and some affair did this all relationship with a woman I want to say that someone may be excited that someone left somebody. <laughs> like, why am I? Uh, <laughs> why am I getting that? It's like, like seriously. It's like the firecracker. You see the tower in the back. That's like, uh, and it, there's other towers in this in these decks. So, so this is like an exciting revelation. Something that you did not see coming like oh shit like are you serious like a wish granted like it's like you can't even believe it it's like someone finally left their friend that they were dating this woman this woman finally got cut off it's like they finally left that bitch and whoever this woman is i want to say this woman is extremely pretty like this woman is extremely pretty. Now they just say she's a hairdresser. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Give me some more guidance. Oh. Okay. Let's see. You got the feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Ooh. We have the mountain road. You are on a road to success. The bag. Something important, such as a new job or a raise. Okay, and then what it just fell in my lap. A fair woman. Dylan's or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, white hair. And then I always say, like, either white skin or light brown skin or something like that. So okay so we got finance and career over here and then we got some type of relationship thing going on over here so there's someone in this position in this group here that is undependable and unsincere and you know it it could be whoever this person is hating on you, or I don't know if it's you that is too worried about someone else. You know what I'm saying? Like, this girl about to receive, you know, a raise, or, you know, either this person is worried about you receiving your raise. And remember, I said something about that up there, like you being in a new position, in a new role or something. It's like you being in the leader of this group or whatever. It's like someone is worried about them receiving more than you or something like that. Like why I didn't get this position, why I'm not in this hat. Why that's not my bag? Not Why that's not my role? Everyone is going to receive at the same damn time. Like, stop trying to count other people's blessings or someone need to stop trying to count yours. Do you understand? Like, that is what is going to fuck things up for you in the long run. Whoever this is that is counting somebody else's bag, like, that's why whoever that is is dependable, is unreliable, and is insincere. It's because they're not... Their intentions are not solid. It's like they're too fo they're too focused on other people instead of focus on their own intentions and their own goals. And that's why someone is being a little bit more critical. It's like you is it, whoever this is, you're going to stick out in the group. You still going to receive, but at the same time, it's like someone may fuck up their positioning. They may fuck up their bag. Whoever this is that is not hating, that is re receiving this job, that's receiving this role, and that's getting this energy on them, that I'm urging not to react to this animosity and this jealousy and things like that. Listen, because the Three of Cups can always be looked at as, you know, that's this is a positive uh, third-party situation because, again, it's like, 
everyone should be coming together getting along and having fun this could be like um again in three of cups they're telling me like this could be someone in your family too like this could be like a cousin or like a hating ass relative or something because a lot of times the three of cups to me means family squirrels and things like mommy loves you more than me or they always give you more than me or so, you know what I'm saying? Something petty, something like really ridiculous like that. And it's like, again, urging you not to react. Because it's like, your mother loves you equally the fucking same. Like, stop. Stop with the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop coming to the holiday party or whatever in some level of competition trying to see who's going to gain more than the other or like why can't it just be me and you why does this person always have to be here type of thing like that and I understand that this isn't an upright but this is still what I'm getting you got to remember the surrounding cards here it's like someone is worried about someone else's positioning when they're all receiving the same fucking thing and it's like fucking ridiculous and the one that is being more positive the one that is being mature is going to be the one that's going to stand out. And again, you're on the road to success. Just continue to keep your wall up and block these people out. Keep your wall out and block these people out because it's just a stupid ass misunderstanding that has everything to do with them and not with you. So don't allow these people to fuck up your bag. Pay attention to your bag. Point blank, period. Again, like the Six of Cups, this can have something to do with family. If this is not business, and someone just being fucking childish and in fucking secure. Just like this person got like abandonment issues or some type of childhood abandonment issues. Some issues like seriously, just someone needs to get some type of counseling or something about like seriously. Yeah, and, and, and that's on that's 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 on serious. <laughs> Not on period. That's on serious. Clarify the wishbone. The firecracker, the scissors, and the woman. You got the hangman. And then you got the judgment. And what is this? This is the seven of cups. And this seven of cups is in the reverse. It did, it is. In the judgment. Alright. So you got the hangman, the seven of cups in reverse, and the judgment. So someone here is um having an answer for something that they've done in the past. It's like having to it's like having to pay out for something. Having to sit there and watch something and it's like you can't do anything about it. Um, it's to get you to understand how to make better choices in life. It's like I, I want to say it's been someone's punishment to kind of like sit and watch. So it like I am getting like something about like someone. I want to say someone did something that they regretted in the past, right? Where, I don't know if I'm getting like, I don't know why I'm getting jail. Because it's like, uh, not being directly related to the situation, but you can definitely see from the outside what's going on type of thing. Like, you don't have anything to do with this situation, but you have everything to do with the situation and you've been made to sit out and watch. It's like you you can't play this round or you can't play this hand or something like that. You just got to watch the situation as shit transfold so that you can learn how to play type of thing like that. And I'm going to call you later. Someone here doesn't want to get over something and doesn't want to leave. And they've been have, it's like it's been their punishment to make them sit back and watch someone be with someone else. 
That's kind of what I'm getting. Or that's their thinking. Um, their thinking again is like. It's hard for me to get over this situation. Um, things are going to. You know. Metamorph into something different. You know it's just caterpillar stage right now. Eventually will be this butterfly. Um, I know this is like a taboo conversation. Or a taboo relationship. For some reason, I feel like you shouldn't be going back to it or you being told not to go back to it. Or it's like, you know, you're going to be rejected. You know that something isn't going to grow. But at the same time, it's like you've been sitting back watching something. You've been on the outside looking in. I want to say that you've been watching this person have a failed relationship with someone else. And it's like, thank God this woman isn't around anymore. She's beautiful, but it's like she's my competition uh, it's like suddenly they just broke up. So it's like, all right, now it's my time to go back. Like, I'm glad I didn't move forward. You could have watching them two going through something. You could have learned what not to do from her. What choices not to make, what not to say, you know, um, again, like this is an internal type of battle going on inside with the seven of cups. And it's like really figuring out if this is what you want or not, you know. And it, to me, I really do feel like you do really want it. It's either you gonna make the same bad fucking choice again, or you not gonna make the same decisions that you made last time. Whether or not which side of the fence that you decide to go on, you're basically being called with this judgment card to decide. What it is that you're about to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like. Alright so what you about to do. I've allowed you to sit back and watch. And so that you can make your decision. And you can really decide. If you want to be in a relationship with a person like this. That's. And I'm keeping it 100. It's like instead of you moving on. You decided to sit back and watch. So you just sat back and watched this person be in yet another failed relationship with someone else. That was extremely beautiful. So what is that telling me? Is that telling is that telling me that the issue was it you or was it them? And I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. If this person failed in a relationship with you and then you sat back instead of you moving forward in your life, you watch this person ruin yet another situation, another relationship, what the fuck make you think it's going to be anything different? Because that's why with this Seven of Cups right here, please go inside and really think. Because like, it's like you've been able to sit back and watch something from the outside looking in so that you can see something from a different vantage point. It's like the same shit that this person was complaining about you. They said the same thing about this person who is extremely beautiful, competent, and everything. I want to say anybody would have been lucky. Like, that's why you could have been jealous of the girl. The girl is, is extremely attractive and everything. Shit, you would date her if you was a fucking man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She reminds you a lot like you. So... Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. I'm so serious. Clarify the feathers, the mountain, the bag, and the fair woman. Thank you. You got the three of cups again. And then you got the knight of pentacles. And then what is this here? Ooh. The four of swords. The three of cups. The knight of pentacles. And the four of swords in the reverse. So basically what this is telling me here is. Um, again. It's like I wish everyone would get along. Because it like I'm kind of getting it's been a long journey here. Whatever this situation here, it has to do with family or career. Bottom line, this has to do with family or career. Because it's like everyone could be happy. Everyone could get along. And I really do see that because with the Three of Cups, it's like everyone loves each other. It's just taking a long process with this Knight of Wands and learning 
how everyone could come together and work together and put aside differences to make something successful that y'all are trying to pull off because and, and, and i don't know if i'm getting like a family business or something it is something where it's like some type of petty arguments where there should be some like well-deserving love and celebration and like generosity amongst each other like y'all should be sharing um sharing gifts sharing wisdom but again it's like this business this uh group whatever it is it's like not successful in some way it ever like takes a long time for you guys to come together and agree on something so you can move forward it's just like a lot of time goes in between you guys seeing each other or making agreements or it's like a long distance a long distance like very far distance apart from each other you know what i'm saying so it's like y'all live so far from each other and it takes so long for everyone to come together to celebrate type of thing so please don't be like having no unnecessary arguments and and you know misunderstanding with each other about who loves somebody more or bringing up old bullshit from y'all's childhood and thing like come on you know, like, please allow that shit to pass. Let that go. Find some healing with that, with the four swords in the reverse. It's like, you should have healed already. You should have healed already from that. We shouldn't even be talking about that no more. We should be celebrating. Like, we're all coming together. You know what I'm saying? This could be someone... It's like one child is jealous at, at another child because the other one is more fi financially secure than the other one or something like that. You know, something stupid. It's like something fucking stupid. Um, however, if this is a business situation, what this is basically telling me, this is not going to be a successful business if y'all don't put unnecessary bullshit aside and learn how to work together and heal from whatever arguments or petty debates or whatever that you know someone tried to because this is a four of swords coming off of the three of swords so it's like someone did something to hurt somebody that they're trying to pull the swords out and you know rectify the situation um it could be a mental death like shit you dead to me but at the same time i still gotta deal with you you know what I'm saying? So, I'm not going to let you, you know, get in the way of my success. So, I might just put a happy face on while we together. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, we could get along because I'm tired of whatever this business shit that we're trying to do. It's not being successful. And the more and more that I am taking more time you take an arguing with you or have a misunderstandings about who's making more, who's doing this, this and that. We're, ain't none of us being successful. So let's all of us just heal so that we can finally make a profit off of this. Because it's like, again, everyone is going to eat together. So put this dumb shit aside so we can finally see a fucking profit. Y'all get what I'm saying? So let's clarify Clarify the six of swords, the firecracker, the wishbone, the scissors, the woman, the hangman, the seven of cups in the reverse, and the judgment. Thank you. So what is this? The king of wands in the reverse. <laughs> so I know good and goddamn well you ain't trying to go back to no king of wands in the reverse. This is the Six of Swords, like, child, there is better ahead of you. If you do not stop looking back in the past and continue to where the fuck you going and mind your business and let this person go and ruin other people's fucking lives, like, what are you doing? Girl, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I am so serious with you. This person ain't committed to not a damn person, but... The moistness around their nether regions. Like, I am so serious. Like, the king of wands don't give a fuck about nothing but getting their dick wet. And moving around 
the pawns in their goddamn chess game. Like, that's all this person is worried about. This person is not a committed person. This isn't a person that is, like, even real chivalrous. This is, like, someone that, especially, like, when it comes to sex, like, they're not even trying to do the foreplay or something. Like, they just might spit on it and shove it in or some shit. Like, I'm just getting, like, ugh. Like, ugh. But some bitches love little nasty-ass trifling, like, because they could look good and, you know, got the gift of gab, got a very nice magic stick. You know what I'm saying? And they know it. And they're arrogant. And they're a fucking asshole. And they're a fucking jerk. Like, what? What? You just seen this motherfucker throw this beautiful woman away, just as beautiful as you are, and <laughs> like, <laughs> brother. Now we not doing this. Now we not doing that. You can do what you want to, but I'm just gonna tell you what the hell it is. You can be stupid if you want to. I already told you the ace. Uh, the aces of uh, pentacles is in the reverse. You already see the nine of swords. And you see the cherry. So again, this hangman right here was put in place so that you can make a wise decision so God can see if you learned something. Because I'm going to tell you what, if you get the hell down off of this goddamn hangman position, after you done seen everything that you need to see, and you make the same dumb decision, when it comes for you, what God calls you, to answer for and to justify why you did that. You made the decision that you made. It's like God, it's like God is giving you choices. You know what I'm saying? So when you got to repeat this chapter all over again and you wonder why certain shit ain't progressing, it's because you keep turning back. Let's clarify the three of cups. The feather, the mountain road, the bag, the fair woman, the three of cups. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse and the Four of Swords in the reverse. So, let's clarify that. One card, please. Two cards. We got the Ace of Wands and then we got the Five of Wands. So, this could be like the beginning of like some type of new challenge or some type of new... Uh, I want to say this is, a, this is going to be a whole new fucking challenge for you. It's like something else is going to... Something... Like, you guys may rectify whatever y'all been arguing about recently. But then something else is going to get sparked up. And y'all going to be getting into it all over again. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like a brand new fucking issue. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. It's like, it's a whole new fucking issue, a whole new frustration, a whole new battle, a whole new competition amongst each other. Like, again, finding something new to fucking argue about. I don't know why, who, whoever this group is right here with this three of cups. And I want to say it's either, it's like a, a group of friends, a group of families, or it could be people that work with each other. I don't feel like y'all know how to get along. It's like y'all easily learn how to spark conflict with each other. If y'all are not blood, I say y'all just go to fuck one about y'all business and find other people to work with where there's not so much frustration and conflict with. Because it's like it's never going to be a resolution. It's always going to be. Sorry. There's never going to be a resolution. It's always going to be something to argue about. And I've just, I, I just, I don't even know what to say about that. All right, so this, okay, you got a broken ring in the dog. So, parting ways, either in romance or business, protection from a powerful friend. I'm telling you, I just told you that. If y'all are not, if y'all can't get along, and if it's always going to be this revolving door conflict, just go about your business. You know. Go work with, like, don't work with your friends. Don't work with your family or what, especially if this is like a, a, 
a, a, a business amongst friends, amongst families, or something like that. Like, just separate it. The unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial change. So, again, like, this is for you to learn from this situation. I really do want you to, again, not make the same mistake a second time. This has been a broken promise. It's a broken engagement. It's something that you need to let go and stop trying to work on and move towards trying to reconnect and find happiness because even like the three cups it does represent like someone trying to rekindle a relationship you know what i'm saying like you know bringing something together i haven't seen you in a long time let's go out and celebrate and you know you know talk about how everything's been going on in your life let's catch up you know and it's like you just wanting it to be you and that person, but then every time you meet with them, they come and they're bringing their girlfriend or they're bringing their boyfriend. It's like, I don't want to hang with you and this person. I just want me and you to talk. Why are you always like, you know what I'm saying? It's like someone frustrated, but this person may have a new role. Like they may be engaged now. They may be married now. They may, it's like that might be their third party. Like they got to bring them with them. It's like, but I don't want it to be, this person has a different role. This person is, you know, has a different standard of life now. So it's like, you know, they got to bring them with them. There's this third party that's going to be attached to this celebration. And, you know, every time they come, it's like, <laughs> they're going to be there. So, listen, you got the sword of truth. Sort of clarity, sort of understanding. So with this Ace of Swords, like, I, you already knew that this was going to happen, like, intuitively. And just in, 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 in the future, just continue to use your intuition. Like, if the Lord allows you to sit on the outside and watch someone go through the same battle that you went through, why in the fuck would you go back to them? Why would you want to go to, back to them? Why would you think that you're not going to experience the same fucking shit all over again? Again, same shit, different toilet, or same toilet, different piece of shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, this is the same toilet, all right? Brand new, fresh, but a different fucking conflict, okay? So we can start everything all over again, but we still going to be arguing. You're still going to have some regrets. There's still going to be some complications. Any way you cut it, any way you look at it, this shit just ain't meant to fucking be, bruh. You got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. The Ace of Wands in the reverse. But you got the Ace of Swords in the upright. So listen, it's just not going to be successful, Mo. So you got to let that shit go. You got to let that shit go. Period. Don't worry about nobody else's position but your own. And who and if this is someone hating on you, do not lessen yourself and lower yourself over someone that is too busy worried about you being somewhere where they want to be. You stay where you want to be. You, all right, look, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. Aquarius, I love you. Y'all hit the like button if this resonated. I will see you guys in 2021. Peace.